Hey kids, it's Dresser James and Dresser McLean's looking at Brachiosaurus again. Now, this is a double unboxing because of reasons, hear me out. So what I'm showing you basically is, uh, I've already did a Brachiosaurus one, the really large one, the original one, but it turns out there's an Amazon exclusive. And if you ever wonder, Mr. Dresser James is very blessed because between his mother and his wife, the two Mrs. Washingtons, I have been Brachiosaurus out. I have so many sauropods, it's crazy, I'm super excited. So I'm not going to let you see anyone's home address. <laughs> But I will show you that uh, the unboxing. So it came as Jurassic World. I'll just do it this way. Yeah, there. Nope, 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 nope. We'll just do it this way. It says Jurassic World Brachiosaurus here with the official scissors to Jurassic James. I will now unfeast. Ah. And cut here. Oh, that was really bad. Safety reasons, always receive your sword. Okay, so we'll just turn it like this and we're gonna unbox the box. A double unboxing! Okay. Ready here. Easy. <laughs> this is really fun. Let's see. Negative pressure. All right. Okay. So again, the, the dinosaur toy will be this many children tall. Uh, let's see. First of all, it's the same art as the original Brachiosaurus figure, but again, you're seeing this wonderful scene of the two of them, but it's a different paint job. So it's a repaint. It's an expensive repaint. That's how they get you. But anyway, so here's the thing. I will now begin part two of the unboxing. We're going to go here. And... There we go. Ramos. fun. Let's see. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. So, let's see. There's there's all that. And the box goes here. And the parts go here. So. Okay. So, first of all, we get the torso. We have our neck and head, and we have our tail. Now, Brachiosaurus. Whoops. So, Brachiosaurus in general is uh, the Brachiosaurus group, the family, are known for having into the family. Who, who that include? A couple of examples are if you go to Tanzania, Africa, in the late Jurassic, 145 million years ago, you'll see Giraffe Titan, which the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus is based on. Uh, you go to North America, you see Brachiosaurus itself, particularly Colorado, and you go to the Iberian Peninsula, which includes Spain and Portugal, you see Lucy Titan. So those are Brachiosaurids. So same thing, you have this to plug in this into that, turn to click, let's see. There you go. And then take the hexagonal piece here and put it on like that. So, what's the big deal with this guy? Why is it an Amazon exclusive? Here's why. In Target, the, this is all from the Hammond collection. Now, wow, I took my camera up did more than usual, and still they're too tall. <laughs> so I'll just bend the head. Ooh, it clicks. This one's a click. Yeah, this one's a click. That one does some interesting. Cool. And so the difference, so basically it's a repaint. So here's the one that I got like a couple, like a year or so ago. And so I think it's like my number one video actually. Um, and I think people watched it because not so much of Brachiosaurus, but to see how happy I was. <laughs> I'll accept that. So they're the same figure for the most part, except for this one has a clicking mechanism on the neck, and this one does not. Overall, they're the same thing, but the difference, of course, is the paint job. And so this one has these splotches of paint on, like, uh, coloring on the back and tail, on the head. This one does not have it. This is kind of what you see in the movie, basically, right? Um, but, but the one difference that made me want this, first of all, is if you look by the head, click, you can see some, I'll put it that way. You can see some, we don't need these scissors anymore, not for now. 
uh, there's some blue right there. So blue right there. So why is that so important to me? Well, one, the fact that Brachiosaurus is my favorite dinosaur, and there would be a new Brachiosaurus that I did not have my hands on. That was upsetting. So my mom got it for me for Christmas. Yay. Thanks, Mom. But also, for me, if now, I, I don't have the luxury of playing with my toys anymore. This me doing these videos is me how I play with them. But I will say, if I were a kid, I would actually have it uh, as a sign of sexual dimorphism. So sexual dimorphism is sex being male or female, die meaning two of the dissection, morphous form, like your mighty morphin Power Rangers. The idea is that that's when the species shows the males and females are different. So an example of this are lions. Uh, well, not all of them, most lions. Because there are some lions who don't have males who don't have manes. Or the Sabo lions are really huge, you know, instead. So lion males usually have a mane, females do not. Uh, tigers, leopards, cheetahs, for the most part, you look at them, you can't quite tell them apart for the most part. So that is not sexual dimorphism, but lions have this. So for me, as a kid, if I were playing in my backyard again, those days of old, um, I would have this be the male and this be the, and the female, for example. And I remember when Jurassic Park 3 came out in 2000, I think, 1. Uh, if you, spoiler for this 23-year-old uh, movie. Uh, no, 2000, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is... They're flying over the island before they tr when they trick Grant, Dr. Grant to be there, and he's looking down, and they want him to give a, a flying tour. Of course, if you haven't seen Jurassic Park 3, they were, uh, the parents lost their kid on the island, and they, they wanted Dr. Grant to find the kid, and so they tricked him by saying they want to do a flying tour of the island, and then it ended up being they wanted to find their kid. But he mentions a herd of, they, you know, they fly over this, this kind of a CGI scene. We were flying over the island, and all the dinosaurs are running around, you know. You see a big herd of brachiosaurus, and he goes, now if you look over there, you see the male leading the front of the herd, and I remember thinking, how does he know that? <laughs> how do he know it was a male? Because uh, a lot of animals have internal uh, genital parts. So maybe in my brain, retroactively fixing the storyline, that there are a herd of dull ones like this, and there's one big splashing like that with a blue strip, and go, ah, that's how he knew. So that's part one of this video. I'm going to put these two. Oh, speaking of this, their heads being high. In Disney's Dinosaur, um, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, one of my, I mean, there's Jurassic Park and there's like Disney Dinosaur, but still high top five. Um, the Brachiosaurus name, her name is Baleen. And she has the same, I can't remember the actress's name, she's the same actress who plays Nanny in Hunter of Nations. So she's actually, she has a very British aristocratic voice. And I think that's cool because if all the other dinosaurs are like down here, low browsing, and the Brachiosaurus have their longer arms, shorter legs, or tilted upwards, uh, they are in this high brows situation. Not high brow, but high brows. And my thought is that it, it would make sense that they be, would become, in this weird dinosaur talking universe, would become aristocratic because they are above everyone else. They talk on, you know, like that. I, don't, I thought that just fit to my head as a kid. Anyway, part two of this will focus on the Hammond collection. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Okay, let's see, make sure my address isn't showing. Yes, and the other part, there's no address there, cool. So, so to, 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 to really win this over, the Hammond Collection decided to come out there on Brachiosaurus. And I was like, well, how, the, the very idea. And so, uh, and I, and so my, my mom got me this one, and my wife got me this one. And so where are the scissors? I call them back like Thor's hammer. You know, like that. And then I take them here, and we're going to open this guy. You understand, like, this is a childhood unfold thoroughly. When Jurassic Park 1 came out, the only Brachiosaurus they had was a little toy that came with, little dinosaur baby that came with Tim. And so there were no Brachiosaurus figures. It was such a like, crucial part, not crucial. It was such an iconic part of the movie. And they had a T-Rex, and they had a Triceratops, and they had the Raptors, and the Lophosaurus, but they didn't have a Brachiosaurus. I, I get why. The cost was whatever, m m money, company, 90s. But for me, this is like childhood again, you know. And so... And there it is, okay. And this side's good. Great. And so to make sure I don't get stopped, I can't show you my address. No, it's not personal, it's just the internet. And what we'll do this time... Oh, it's there too, huh? Okay, cool, 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 cool. What we'll do is we'll do this. Okay. Alright. This is the Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus. This is, again... I mean, I'd imagine they're all supposed to be the same Brachiosaurus character when they first seen the movie. 
But this one, I think they're saying, this is that one. This is a figure for it. So I'm like, sure, whatever. Whatever if you have to, kids. And so, let's, oh, it's so cool. Okay, sorry. Um, there you have it, it, like that. So basically, the difference between these guys and this guy is that this one has articulation. The legs and ankles move like that. I am super excited about this because it's just, sorry, calm down. Focus on this one, James. Here's the thing, uh, and this is, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And it tells you right here that iconic picture of the oh, lift it up to camera like that. And the story says the sight of the first dinosaur on the tour of Jurassic Park caused Dr. Grant and uh, Dr. Alan Grant not only uh, sorry not only stand and remove his hat and glasses in shock, but he also physically turned Dr. Haley Settler's head. Remember that was a kind of a weird. It's all these Texas thing. He just takes her and says she's talking. He's like look over here. Um, head so he can see what she, uh, so she can see what he can't believe a massive brachiosaurus welcome to Jurassic Park very iconic scene it was one of the ones that really you know framed childhood I will open it from this side let's see that kind of hurt okay um oh wait it's an unboxing you should see this part Ooh, my friend Harry says, everybody say ooh, everybody say ah. So we pull this out here, and there we go. And check around, and there we go. And here is the part here, okay. This one takes a lot more assemblage than our first guys. Let me do this. So you're gonna go right there, and then you're gonna go right here. And so, Okay, cool, cool. Okay. So, luckily, I know I have a general idea of dinosaur anatomy, although it's a toy, I should kind of get this. The first thing, this appears to be front, right, forelimb. It really puts the arm in Brachiosaurus, because Brachiosaurus means arm lizard, because they, they do a lot of arm day. In their, no, they have longer arms and legs. I mentioned it earlier. Let's see. Ooh, there were instructions. Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh, there's a D and a D. So it says letter D here and letter D there. So that's self explanatory. It's like, it shouldn't be that complicated. Um, let's see, now we have... There it is. It appears to be not the head or a leg, tail. Like that. There we go. Now, we're only a quarter of the way there, kids. No. Uh, Behind under all the piles, we once again call upon the official scissors, Jurassic James. So you can untie it, or you can be lazy and do this. The sad part is these scissors aren't super sharp, they're just really fancy. There we go. And so our other leg. And I guess, I'm assuming it's going here. And finally, the neck, head and neck. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, you may retire for the day. I get it now. They don't make this one's head turn because this one head can turn. That's how they get you. Okay, so let's plug on the hexagon to the hexagon. It even has one with rubbery skin. Let's... The 
It reminds me how in Iron Man when he's uh, when he first puts his suit on, or second time maybe when he, once he kind of perfects it, this is like ch -ch 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 -ch, you know the parts are moving around like a transformer. So basically, all these little limbs are here. So this guy, if I can or gal, by comparison, is a little shorter uh, of the shoulder. Okay, well, you can't see that. So it's a little shorter than this one. So a little, oh, but about the same height. Uh, the only differences are one the articulation, the tail can go up, up and down. It can wag like this, so side to side. The knees can bend like that. So what they're basically doing is giving you the opportunity to make the scene where it rears up on his hind legs, which like every paleontologist just like passed out at that moment in the theater. Like, no, we can't do that. Um, the head turn at all? Does it bend? It's kind of flexible. So yeah. And I assume you can go whoop, whoop, yeah, like that. And so anyway, other than that, we're going to lay it down with the belly. Like this, or as close to it. And so there's a head for you. So, so it's kind of like, you can get really, really close in there. You can see the head and the face like that. And so for me, this is cool because, one, um, they didn't sell Lex, the little girl from Dress Up Park, because the marketing suggested the, the woman was about a little girl. I thought everyone was like, everyone I knew who had Dress Up Park figures was like, where was Lex? And so it's really cool to play the scene where it, it sneezes on her. Now that we have a Lex figure from the uh, Dress Up Park legacy line, uh, the teeth, let's see. So, and supposedly, you know this, uh, Steven Spielberg. When they made the life-size T-Rex and the Dilophosaurus and the Raptors, he wanted a life-size Brachiosaurus for his filming dress Jurassic Park. And they are like, stand with some of those people like, we can't, that's too. And so they just made like the, like the neck up, basically, uh, for the tree scene. But there's the head right there. You can kind of see it that way. And it filled the next kind of rubber. This so it's slightly different kind of rubber or plastic than this. But the neck is rubbery. So it's a difference there. And it has, I guess, joints of some sort. Below the I'm not going to push it too hard, though. So anyway, there it is. So, um, and of course, there you have your high nostrils. We would subject to the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus. And so, yeah, and so, um, yeah, this is it. This is cool. So I have all three of the Brachiosaurus figures. I am super excited because, again, if I'm not sure if I've told you this before, ever, ever, this is my favorite dinosaur. And thanks to my mom and my wife, I now have all of them. So, and if you're ever wondering, I call my wife the Lady Washington. And I call, my name is James of Washington III. And I call my uh, uh, my mother Mother Washington. So there's there thanks to them the, the whole. And I remember one of you uh, commented, like, "Why don't you have the Jurassic Park Hammond?" Because I was waiting for Christmas. And so here we go. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. We're gonna do some smaller figures. And I like the, the camera so far away. So I'm gonna just dip their heads into the frame and go. All right. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Thanks, mom. Thanks, wife, honey. Oh, okay. Okay.